Hey guys, welcome back to the Butterfly Effect podcast. And this is going to be another episode of Totem News. So I'm joined today, as always, by Jack. Guten Tag. Hey, <laughs> mixing it up again. <laughs> So yeah, uh, so today Jack attended a webinar-based thing to do with Wolf Among Us 2 that's coming out later this year. So Jack, tell us about it. All right, okay. So I'm guessing the first thing you're going to want to know is the release date. So you're probably going to be a bit disappointed, mate. It's not going to be until next year in 2023. Um, I can't give any more details than that. They haven't even gone into like, what quarter the game's coming out. And this is mainly because they are in production at the moment. They're doing motion capture and the voice acting, etc. as we speak. So it could be the end of next year. It could be early next year. We simply don't know. Um, in terms of the consoles it's on, it will be on old gen and new gen. So it's not like we're going to have to go out and buy a PS5 or the Xbox series x in order to play it so that's good news and it's also going to be five episodes long so i can't remember if it was five episodes in the first season do you remember uh, were, it yeah yeah it was five episodes yeah all right okay so yeah this will be the same and i suppose yeah other things to mention it looks very much like the, it, in terms of graphics, it looks very much like Series 1 with a few enhancements because it's on the Unreal Engine. And, yeah, I suppose that's sort of the, you know, the dry information. Um, I suppose, you know, if you want, I can go into what they talk about as far as the plot goes. Uh, yeah, I mean, before you get there, I guess, uh, you know, with the release date, uh, funnily enough, I'm actually not too disappointed, mate, that you've named 2023 as its release year there, because um, I mentioned in previous videos, I was really terrified that Telltale were going to fall into their old habits. I know they have The Expanse coming out um, shortly, but um, I don't want them to be releasing games too fast, uh, where the quality massively declines. I got the impression before with them, uh, you know, they probably tried to brush out deadlines and it really made the games worse and worse over time. So that's a honestly a positive sign in many ways. It shows they're taking their time and they're not repeating history. So, yeah, that's great. And you know what? To build on your point there, in the interview, they were talking about The Expanse. Um, and I'll actually say that they do have a separate team for The Expanse. I thought that Telltale were sort of both making both games. But they do have Deck Nine essentially managing that game on their own, obviously with sort of Telltale story branching. And then other aspects of the Telltale team are making The Wolf Among Us too. So build on what you said, it does seem like they've learned their lesson, like they're managing their resources a bit better. So hopefully, you know, the game will shine through ultimately. Yeah, okay, yeah, so that's great about the release date. Yeah, hopefully um, it goes well. And you mentioned the graphics there. Um, so I very much enjoyed the graphics of Wolf Among Us, uh, the first one. Uh, I really hope to see, you know, some old characters return, some of the noir elements and the synthy music in the background. Uh, were there any screenshots or anything that released? Any gameplay demos? Yeah, so they they opened the stream up with a roughly like a two minute trailer and i suppose this is sort of a good segue to go into what the plot's about so it's six months on since the events of series one and bigby has been suspended from his role as a detective and he's in anger management um not much more goes into it than that but essentially the conversation he's have having with this woman is in the background from presumably this mission that he went on recently where he was sort of involved in entailing someone and it all sort of ends with like a, a big fight almost like it did in episode one of the first series and we also know that snow is now deputy mayor and um, presumably deputy mayor of fable town although i'm pretty sure they did say that 
it does go beyond Fable Town in this particular game. It sort of goes into the city, um, which I think is quite interesting as well. Um, in terms of returning characters, Buffkin's going to be back. There was a mention of Oz as well, um, but they were sort of keeping relatively cautious on the side of too many, you know, returning of announcing too many returning characters. So we can assume that maybe there's a couple more, and the rest of the cast is mostly new characters. Um, in terms of the dialogue and choices, it's going to remain faithful to the first series but there will be new additions in there that we can look out for so it'll be good to see what they've implemented into the you know their style of gaming and i suppose finally it would be that it will be a rather traditional release of episodes so there will be gaps in between um which is great for us because obviously ultimately when we come round to playing the wolf among us too we'll be able to finish an episode and have a good sort of sit down talk and discuss how we, you know, how we think the story is going to progress and what we think of it so far. Yeah, that sounds brilliant, actually. I know um, the gap style isn't for everyone, but we very much enjoy those kind of things because it gives us time to anticipate the next episode to build theories. And obviously, you know, from a podcast point of view, it's nice as well. Um, but yeah, everything you said there's got me really excited. I haven't myself seen the trailer yet, but it's something that I'm going to sink my teeth into as soon as possible. But yeah, um, it feels very weird. There was a point where I didn't think a Telltale game would ever be released again, and here we are discussing uh, one of my favourite you know, Telltale projects that has come out. And yeah, they're making a season two. I'm, I'm honestly hyped for it. Um, yeah, like, bring it on, to be honest. Um, anything else there, Jack? Or yeah, to say, because they, um, as I said before, they did touch on the expanse, and it is interesting, and it does actually make sense now how they referred um, the expanse to deck nine because both games they do look different. Um, the Wolf Among Us Two still has that sort of comic book style of game, whereas the expanse it's not quite that, is it? It's it's got sort of its unique. Um, unique visual quality to it but no other than that that's that is essentially the news um hopefully you know maybe towards the end of the year they'll come out with some more details and screenshots so it's very much watch this space now brilliant yeah no like two projects we very much have to look forward to um yeah i can't wait personally uh but yeah um i'm happy to wrap it up there um yeah anything else to add or no, that's it. That's the All end right. of the news. Yeah, thank you very much for filling me in with the details there. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much, guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And yeah, we'll be there in the future to cover The Wolf Among Us. Thank you very much.